this video, I'm going to show you how you can go from this kind of a select where we have the tick box, which is great, but on mobile can be a little bit uh, difficult when you try and aim for that little block, not realizing that you can actually click anywhere on the text. And we're going to trans, uh, transform that into this, which makes it a lot easier and is a lot more attractive to the end user when it comes to uh, selecting an item. So to do that, what I'm going to do is remove the styling that I have at the moment. So I'm going to head over to customize. I've just dropped it in here into the CSS customize window. So I'm going to remove that. And you'll see we're back to the standard styling. And then I'm going to create that styling from the beginning. So the first thing that I'm going to do then is identify the various elements. So first thing I'm going to do is inspect that element. And immediately I'll see that each item is wrapped in these styles. So what I'm going to do then is click on this little plus sign for a new style rule. And we're going to go with a border. So let's create a border. And we'll make that one pixel solid. And then I'm going to make it slightly lighter than black. So we'll go with that gray. And then what we're going to do is give that a radius. So border radius. And let's make that uh, five pixels. And then I'd like a margin to appear below each item. So head over to margin. And we'll go with zero, zero. And make it five pixels at the bottom and another zero. So there I have, I've created each item. And the other thing that I can see immediately is that I, I need some padding in there because you'll see that the tick box is right against the border on the left-hand side. So I'm going to add some padding and I'll just make it five pixels. So there I have my items. And now I'm going to copy that style and drop it in straight away. Right, so we've styled that. The next thing that I'd like to do is get rid of this tick box. I no longer require the tick box. So I'm going to head over here to input. And here we have the fluent form input type equals checkbox. I'm going to copy that, paste that in, and I'm going to go with display none. And for that to work, I need to go add important. So there we've removed the tick box. And we have our item, which is great. And the, the other thing that I'm going to do is for this to work correctly is I also have to head over to the label. Copy that. And, and add display block to that item. Now what you'll see is that there's a bit of spacing that has appeared below each item that I need to get rid of. And that is because in the margin, there's a margin bottom for seven pixels. So we need to remove that. So margin dash bottom, we'll change that to zero. And important. Right, so there we have created each item. And now you'll see that I can click anywhere in this button and I can activate the selection. Now, I don't see any changes here, but what you'll notice on the right hand side is that when I select an item, the class changes. So I'm going to head over here and I'm going to then say new style rule. And I'm going to go background. And let's make that slightly darker and change the color. Right, so there we have the item highlighted and we can paste that in. So now as I go through, it selects and deselects each item correctly. I'm going to publish that to my website. 
We'll then close that and now we'll give it a test. So we don't need that anymore. And now you'll see that when I make the selection, uh, it selects each item really nicely. So we've gone from this layout to this layout with just a few changes in the style sheet. And let's have a look at that in the mobile view. So now on the mobile, you'll see what's really nice now is that when it comes to selecting an item, I can, whoops, I can then just quite easily now select what I would like without trying to aim for the little tick box. Right, well, that's how easy it is to change your styling from a tick box to a nice, easy to select button. I hope you enjoyed that video. Thank you for watching.